Outlaw Law is brought to you by Whitaker and Hamer Attorneys and Counselors at Law, your law firm for life. The Outlaw Lawyers, Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer. Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm, where you can find them uh, each and every week. They're the managing partners there. They're practicing attorneys here in North Carolina. Again, those offices, you can find them in Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Verena, and Gastonia. If you've got a legal situation, you've got to need a question answered, uh, you can call 800-659-1186. That's 800-659-1186. Leave your contact information, briefly what that call is about, an attorney with Whitaker and Hamer will be in touch. And again, you can always email your questions to the program, and we'll answer them on a future show, questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. Final question of the program, Josh. Uh, this is one that comes up from time to time, but uh, our generalized version of a question that we get very often is, uh, I was eating at a restaurant and my food had a hard object in it. I bit down on the object. It caused me a lot of pain. I went to the dentist afterward and everything checked out okay. Can I sue? So that's a, that's a question that comes up every every now and again. And this reminds me of a, this reminds me of a story. Uh, I was in the... Uh, I was in the the KW cafeteria as a kid eating with my family. You guys, you guys know all about the KW. We've talked. I think about we've talked KW. about the KW here on the show. Yeah, you uh, shortened it. It's KNW. 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 Yeah, KNW. KW. KNW. KW. So we're at the KNW cafeteria. We're having a nice meal as a family. And I was a kid. I could maybe I was in middle school. I might have been in elementary school. But I remember we were sitting there. My dad was eating. Uh, my, dad, my dad's gonna get mad at me this weekend putting his business out on the uh, <laughs> out on the radio. But we were sitting there eating, and he always did Salisbury. That's that's his meal: Salisbury steak. Oh, rice. so good, yeah, yeah. That's that's what he does every time. So he's eating his rice. He bites down on something. We hear like a crack. He cracked like half his tooth, and it just fell out. And I just remember being like, and he was just like, "Oh well, I guess I'll have to," you know, <laughs> like he. I just remember being like amazed that that just happened, and like he wasn't like writhing on the on the ground in pain. How good was that Salisbury steak to just put him into a state of euphoria <laughs> where he's just like, no tooth, I right, have my tooth gone, but I got to keep but, this uh, rolling, man. I think they did. I think they, did, they took his tooth. I think they did just talk to a manager. And if I remember correctly, I think I think the KW just covered his whatever dental bills he had at the time, you know. But but yeah, I guess the short answer is is you can sue, right? Uh, but the problem might be what what's your actual damage? Yeah, and in this situation. It, everything checked out okay like you've got uh you got pain you know and um a, a pain and suffering is a relevant factor to you know any kind of uh litigious suit seeking you know recovery of damages but at this it, it's difficult it's difficult if pain and suffering is your own is the only thing you've got you know how do you quantify that you you know having there needs to be a quantifiable component to to any kind of uh, of lawsuit of this nature, well, and you have to prove negligence, right? So, this if you did sue, uh, let's say my dad decided to sue the K and W, you got to prove that that they did something wrong, right? The fact that something hard was in the what, rice or whatever it was by itself is not enough because there's, you know, you get a steak, you might get some bone, right? You can get pieces of bone in a hamburger, and there's, you know there's a certain level that's not negligent because it just happens, right? That you, so you have to prove they did something wrong. So you have to prove negligence happened. And then you have to, like, like you said, Joe, pain and suffering, you certainly can get compensated for, but you know, three seconds of, of pain, you know, maybe is not worth a lot in the, in the, in the, in the marketplace, but uh, <laughs> cracking half a tooth and having to get extensive dental work. Well, maybe that's a different, you know, situation. Now you got doctors involved, you got medical records, you've got a clear injury and, and, um, but yeah, yeah. I hadn't thought about that time at K and W in a long time. And this question really just rocketed that into my brain. Just, just amazed. You're like, you know, cause as a kid, you crack a tooth, sure. and you're out of school for like two weeks. Like I wouldn't, that's it. I would milk yeah. that for as long as I could, you know? Well, and, and it's nice that K and W stepped up and, and, and took care of that. I mean, that's, that, that's some scary stuff. How old was your dad when it happened? Let's see, if I was in middle school, my dad would have probably been late 40s. I was going to say, those are his real teeth, too. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But All right, well, we are up against the clock, guys. Another great show. The Outlaw Lawyers, Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer. 
Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm, where you can find them during the week. They're the managing partners there. They're practicing attorneys here in the great state of North Carolina and offices conveniently located Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Verena, and Gastonia. And if you've got a legal question you need an answer to, I've got a phone number for you, 800-659-1186. That's 800-659-1186. Just leave your contact info. Briefly what that calls about, an attorney with Whitaker and Hamer will be in touch. And you can always email your questions to the show, questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. We're back next week with another edition of The Outlaw Lawyer.